Look at these tags. They are useless. They're an impediment to looking up the rules, not assistance. Today I'm going to show you how to tag up your book ready for an exam. Apprentices tend to find this book rather threatening. There's a lot of pages in this book. So we're going to break it down and make it a little bit simpler and easier to understand. And we want to be able to look things up quickly. Section 1 of the standard is this portion up front. This is the mandatory portion and most of that is preamble. And then we have some definitions. By the time you get through the definitions, there's not much left. This is the essential portion of the wiring rules that the rest of the wiring rules is designed to achieve. So let's take a highlighter and highlight this portion of the wiring rules. Now, finding section one is easy. Next, I want to highlight the appendix. Now, finding section one and finding the appendices are easy and I don't even have any tags yet. If you turn to the contents, you can see the breakup of the book. We've got section one. This is our definitions, fundamental principles and so on. Then we've got part two. That's the part that has not been highlighted. All of that is part two. Now part two is broken up into sections. Section 2, General Arrangement, Control and Protection. Section 3 is Selection of Wiring Systems. Section 4 is Selection and Installations of Electrical Equipment. Let's call them Loads. Section 5 is Earthing. Section 6 is Swimming Pools, Spas, basically wet areas. Section 8 is special installations. In other words, all the stuff that didn't fit somewhere else in the book. Then the new section, section eight, is testing and verification. Then we move on to appendices. What I have here is all the tags I'm going to use in this book. The trick to navigating the wiring rules is not to have everything tagged. The trick to navigating the wiring rules quickly is to be able to break it up into smaller pieces. So I'm going to tag the contents and the index. I'm going to tag the definitions. I know that I'm going to be asked for definitions in a capstone exam. Section one is already highlighted. Section two is protection. So all I'm going to do is put two and protect. Section three was wiring. Section four was loads. Section 5 is earth, section 6 is wet areas, section 7 special, section 8 testing, and then we've got the index at the end. These ones are just stuff that I know that I'm going to have to be able to track down. I can sometimes lose track of them, but that's all I'm going to put down the side here. And I want to be able to see every label at the same time without flicking past any. All I've got down the side is HRC fuses, that's that 0.9 business, making up the difference between HRC fuses and circuit breakers. Where we need RCDs, switchboards, aerial cables. I haven't put underground cables because I know that it's right before aerial. I don't need two tags. Motors. Motors are a special kind of load and they always have attention in an exam, so I've listed those. Table 5.1 in earthing. I know that I'm going to be asked a question on earthing sizes. I want to be able to get there quickly. I know that I'm going to be asked a question on max and demand. I'm only going to tag table C1 because I know that table C2 is straight after it. Voltage drop. Most assessors won't allow you to use the simplified method of finding voltage drop. However, it's a good quick way of checking your answer after you've done it the hard way and more accurate way. LMAX. I know that it's highly likely I'm going to be asked to find that formula and work out maximum circuit length. I went down to the local $2 shop and bought myself some contact. $2. This is all I need. Now when I put my labels on, I like to put them 
straight on here. And then wrap over the back. That'll tear that page out before that label comes off. I like to use contact because it doesn't break. Sticky tape over time will work harden and snap. Post-it notes will curl over and fall off. And I prefer to print my labels rather than writing them. And the reason for that is they are clearer and smaller. So let's go ahead and do the rest. I know that I'm going to be asked questions on definitions. Section two is protection. Section three is wiring systems. Section four is installation of equipment or loads. Section five is earthing. Section six is damp situations or wet areas. Section seven is special installations. Section eight is verification or testing. And way down the end is the index. HRC fuses. RCDs. Switchboards. Aerials. Motors. Table 5.1. Maximum circuit length. Here's the formula. Maximum demand. Voltage drop. Simplified method. It's unlikely that you'll be allowed to use the simplified method in an exam, but you can use it to check your answer. That's about all the tags I would have. The point of the tags is to help you navigate the book quickly, not to show you where absolutely everything is. Too many tags and you suffer from the law of diminishing utility.